um, we have a family who daughter passed away, who passed away, and I think it's um, the daughter died in Thailand, if I'm not mistaken. Well, overseas, overseas, out the country, around the corner. Yeah, no. Um, and they is having the hardest time getting her body back to the states. Um, hold on, hold on. Shout out to Memphis Ken for the for, for the one dollar cash out. He said every. Every chick I tried to own, they ran away. He said, when I said the door works, if you want to leave, they never did. He said, they want you to fight for it or with them. Facts. I've been saying all my life, too. I've been saying the same thing all my life. They just don't be wanting to leave. They just don't be wanting to go no dog on. Well, no, hell no. We're going to fight this out and we're going to stay together. Just hear what it is. Listen, we got a family who needs your help. And um, damn it, they need funds. They need some funds out here to get their daughter transported back to the great United States of America. Here we go. A Waukegan family is grieving after the sudden death of a loved one that took place overseas. Fox 32's Gabriella Primas on the family struggle to bring their loved one's body home in this exclusive story. Mm -hmm. The family is remembering a beloved daughter, sister, friend, and mother to two little girls. A farewell for a dream vacation has now become a fight to give her a proper goodbye. I'm, I'm very numb. Mm. I'm numb until I bring my child home. Mama sound very numb. Mm. Look at that beautiful baby. Kendra Harris has come to terms with the fact that her 26-year-old daughter, Justice, is gone. But she can't come to terms with the obstacles that prevent getting her baby home. She was going on a, she was going on a girl's trip with her friends. A girl's trip. Mm. Friends and family. Justice never stepped... She had a daddy, too. ...foot on the tropical island of Bali. Instead, her family assumed she suffered a seizure and lost all vital signs on the way there. Damn. Shout out to Sophie32 for the $1 rumble rant. You say, I was always told to go... Um, to go anywhere of you can't get back home. I said, I was always told to go, go anywhere of you can't get back home. You got to rewrite it. You got to rewrite it. Or I'm reading it wrong. She never came back. She never came back. Dang. Her body's being held uh, in Taiwan, Taipei. And... We're trying to raise the money to bring our little girl home. Justice's family is begging for the public's help. It will cost an estimated $37,000 to bring Justice's body back home to the States. The when, when, when? Why is the price so high to bring a body from Taiwan back to you great to the great United States of America? That is 7000 But is a plane ticket that is 7000 to get to Taiwan? Because if a plane ticket is like a hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred dollars, if we got to ship a dead body, I right, we'll do it by fifteen hundred dollars. You know what I'm saying? I am so confused. Shout out to Sophie thirty two for the one dollar rama rent. He said, "I was told don't go anywhere of you can't get your ass back home." Oh, oh, oh! Don't don't go anywhere if you can't get your ass back home. That's a good one. That. That's good information right there. Listen, y'all be playing with the overseas stuff. Shit don't work out. We don't have a contingency plan, y'all. But the family has been in contact with the U.S. Embassy in Taiwan. Yep. There might be a cost as we have to get her body prepared to bring up to bring her home, and there, there's going to be a price of cost to bring her home from the airport. The family. The cost to bring her home from the airport. Why, why can't the U.S. Embassy just deal with the... What the hell just happened? Hey, Waukegan. Why the embassy just can't deal with the cost? But she can't come to terms with the obstacles that prevent getting her baby home. She was, going on, she was going on a girl's trip with her friends, friends and family. Justice never stepped foot on the tropical island of Bali. Instead, her family assumed she suffered a seizure and lost all vital signs on the way there. She never came back. She never came back. Her body's being held uh, in Taiwan, Taipei. And we're trying to raise the money to bring our little girl home. Justice's family is begging for the public's help. It will cost an estimated $37,000 to bring Justice's body back home to 
the states. The family has been in contact with the U.S. Embassy in Taiwan. There's going to be a cost as we have to get her body prepared to bring, up, to bring her home, and then there's going to be a, price, a cost to bring her home from the airport. The family has been able to raise $12,000 on their own. They started a GoFundMe page titled Help Bring Justice Home to Help. As of Saturday night, it's raised $7,000. I want to see my daughter. I want to see my baby. You know, I'm, I, 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 I need this for myself. So they raised 12 on their own and then hit GoFundMe um, and got another seven. And 19. We had 19 right now. To see my child. You know, so I'm trying to bring her home so I can give her the proper burial that she deserves. It yeah, yeah. Get like thirty five thousand. Like what? What kind of first class ticket is that? This shit crazy. If it wasn't a bang, if it, if it, if it wasn't in a different country where there's different regulations, it wouldn't be my job. Yeah. <laughs> you know, my daughter was sunshine. She was the sweetest person in this world. She's very intelligent. The family says her death is painful enough to process. The extra stress of having her body overseas is unbearable. I'm just hoping if you can and if you have it in your heart. To, to donate, please do. We just want to bring our little girl home. Gabriela Prinas, Fox 32, Chicago. You say we have military in that area. They can they can put her on a military pl plane and bring her home. It don't make no damn sense. So we done contacted. Damn it, we done talked to the embassy. We done talked to us. We done talked to the country. Us, United States of America. At the... So, damn it, so is the embassy charging 37000 Or is Taiwan charging 37000 I would love to know who, 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 damn it, you better call Biden. You better call your damn president out here in the street. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, oh, is Taiwan doing the thirty seven or the embassy doing the thirty seven? I don't know what's 37000 What? It, do we have to pay like the medical fees or something like that for them to do like the autopsy and things like that? Or ha has the autopsy been done over there? They charge it too damn much. Or, 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 or do we got to go to war behind this right here? Hmm? Some do sound fishy. For real, for real. But if y'all would like to help out this family, they have a GoFundMe. Um, damn it, what is the thing? Oh, well, I might as well pull it up then. Hold up, hold up, swole up. Hold up, hold up, swole up. Let's see the name. Do a search right here. We got help. Help bring justice. Oh, her name is Justice. I think her name is Justice Holmes. Let's see. I, damn it, I got it. Okay, all right. Shout, shout out to the public. Hold on, hold on. Shout out to the public. They said that they needed 25 right here. They got 32. They need 37. But remember, they had got 12. They had got 12 on their own. And then went to the GoFundMe. They got 20. Damn it. So they just asked for the 25. They just asked for 25. Got 32. So they good. They finna get their baby home. They finna get their baby home. Say hello, hello, hello. Um, oh, shout out to Sophie. You're pointing some things out for the one dollar rumble rents. And no tears, Pastor. Facts. No tears. Hello, my name is Kendra. You say on on behalf of myself and Donnie and my family, we are reaching out to ask you for financial assistance with keeping um, with helping us bring justice back home to her beautiful daughters, Nylena, excuse me, and and Ken, Kinslia, I guess that's how you pronounce it. My bad, my bad, my bad. Justice for um was on her way out of the country for the ultimate vacation in Bali with her friends when she suffered from a seizure and lost all vital signs that caused her transitioning to be with our Lord and Savior. Currently, my baby is in, in Taiwan. My family and I have been working endlessly day and night, speaking with the U.S. Embassy and others in Taiwan on, on the proper way to return her home 
to us here in the United States. They are asking for a total of 37,000 to bring my baby home. We have raised approximately 12,000 and we are a long way from our goal. This is why I am reaching now, asking for the assistance, support and help from my family, friends, community. You say any amount would be um, greatly appreciated. That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. Shout out to Jareel for the for the for the one dollar cash shop. You say need the body for that check, Pastor. That's a great point because insurance companies they will not, for the most part, they they will not cut that check without a death certificate. They need to have a body, and sometimes when they don't have a body, it takes months and even years, even after the person have, have been declared dead for them to pay out. So we need the body. We really do need the body. If you all would like to help, help bring justice home, go to yoga fund me and hit the help justice. Um, search help, help just help bring justice home. That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. Boy, the community that came together where all the rappers when you need them. Moving right along. I ain't gonna even hold you. Well, all the rappers when you need. Hey, hey man, 